Hello everyone and welcome back to Livewire. Ali here today talking about the new game that's just been confirmed coming out in 2017, Injustice 2. Here we're treated with the opening cinematics for the trailer where Superman is fighting off against Flash. Does this mean that the game is going to follow the same path line as the first one in which Superman in an alternate universe was the main enemy? So what can we tell from the trailer so far? Well. It looks like the story might be linear and continue on from the previous game's story which ended with Superman being imprisoned. Continuing on from this trailer, developers when asked about what they were doing to improve upon the previous game had the following response. We're doing all the things you'd expect from a sequel. We're adding new characters, new environments and we're taking environment destruction and interaction to the next level. But we didn't want to stop there. Neville Realms say they always want to make games that are fun, challenging and innovative, and they strive to get players to involve a level of control that makes playing our games a truly personal experience. And for that reason, they've introduced the brand new gear system, allowing players to build their own unique versions of Superman, their Batman, and ultimately, their Injustice universe. Their gear system that they've introduced works like an RPG. You get rewarded with loot drops every time you play the game. And with each loot drop, you'll be able to earn character-specific gear to outfit and power up your roster, changing not only the way characters look, but the way their strategy works, how they fight, how well they are against other heroes, and, as a result, changing the way you fight anyone in any match. As you get up your characters, you're changing all of the roster of heroes within the game that you use. Whether that reflects into the story, as well as online game modes such as 1v1s, are yet to be said. A few play sessions in, you can expect your particular, for example, Aquaman to look extremely different from anyone else's Aquaman. Well, when they say this, I presume they're not going to have like 5 different torso arrangements or maybe 10 or 20. Where's the limit? Where do they call it stops? I mean, we've seen a couple being shown there, but we didn't see any difference. Batman started off when he got upgraded with the new mask and with the green glowing arms and chest piece just in Kryptonite. However, towards the end, it became more encompassing and more of an Arkham Dark Knight look with the red insignia. Of course, on top of this new customizable features, which is interesting for a Mortal Kombat-esque style game, they're continuing to add to the story of the Injustice universe. When the game was last finished, spoiler alert, Superman was imprisoned in a Red Sun prison cell, while Batman was continuing the good fight against the forces that would see Superman's tyranny back in power. This, we're presuming, is in the universe where Superman was the evil Superman, and from another dimension, the Superman and Batman of the good universe, if you will, got dragged in to fight and combat him. The developers have been keen to emphasize how they're going to be dropping more information in the lead to the launch in 2017. However, we here at Livewire will also be covering everything and in-depth analysis that they bring up. Going on from what was already confirmed by the developer, here are some rumors that may develop on things. People are saying that apparently, along with the existing threat of Superman, or evil Superman, as you will, in the story there's also going to be a new threat that presents itself to you and your hero buddies. Many people are theorizing that this could be anyone. Heck, Brainiac, why not? Confirmed characters like we've already seen are the likes of Batman, Superman, Supergirl, Aquaman, The Flash, but also, apparently, we're going to see the likes of Red Lantern, Atrocitus, and Gorilla Grodd. Likewise, on the locations where battles can take place, Metropolis is ever-present in that roster, Gotham City and Atlantis have also been confirmed as battle areas. I mean, we've already used them, but there may be new areas of them, or a redefined and more modern or perhaps interpretive look at them. That's all the information we have for you in this trailer breakdown today, folks. If you'd like to see more information on this game, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you get updated with it as soon as we release it. If you're interested in any of the other games we've got on the channel, like For Honor or Wildlands, be sure to have a look at the links provided in the end slate. Until then, folks, we'll see you next time.